Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to another weekend chat. Happy Saturday. I'm back again. This one may be a little shorter because I am currently dealing with 48 hours into a splitting migraine and nothing is helping, but I feel like I'm trying the next thing, which is keeping myself distracted and that maybe if I don't think about it, it will go away. But I have tried caffeine, I tried Advil, I've been doing my walks, I've been chugging water, and nothing is helping. So um, if anyone has any tips below in the comments, please leave me a comment that does not involve getting like injections or Botox or anything like that, because I don't want to do that. But <laughs> any like, some people have said like peppermint, I don't know, it just is like on this left side of my forehead and I'm like, oh, can you not? But anyway, I wanted to come on here and say hello. I'm back again. Um, hello to everyone on YouTube. It's good to be back and chatting with you guys. Um, I've got my new little setup here. Today I tried to match my lights to my shirt. You know, give everyone a little bit of a magenta pink summer moment. <laughs> um, I don't know, you know, trying to experiment with colors and... I don't know, just like after my weight loss and everything, I was ready to have this summer moment. And now that COVID has kind of canceled everything, I'm still just trying to have fun. And so I bought, you know, new shirts, even though, does that make any sense? Like, I don't know, like I had all these like looks that I was ready to show the girls with my short shorts and show off these legs that I've been power walking and toning up. Um, I don't know. This is, this is our summer, everyone. Hello. Thank you for coming back. Thank you to everyone who watched my last video, the one before that. Um, I have had no hate comments for the first time in a long time, which has been great. And, um, it just feels good. It just feels refreshing for me to just sit on here and talk. And I'm actively working on not trying to be so serious and so perfect, which has been something that I wanted to talk about with you guys today a little bit more about, because um, as you guys know, I'm like spread all over the place. Like I have my job, Legends Only. We did even like a little bit of the Britney podcast again. We are also on YouTube, by the way, if you do not know about my podcast, Legends Only, because there's a lot of you here on YouTube who um, commented, you're like, oh my gosh, you're back, hi. I have the Legends Only podcast is on YouTube too. So if you search Legends Only podcast, it is available for listening here on YouTube. And um, we're gonna work with the new chapters feature. Have you guys seen that on YouTube? It's called chapters and it's basically just timestamps, but you can click through on a video. And so, something that we're gonna try this week is doing sections. Like we have new music, quarantine, the Britney stuff. What's the other one? High fashion editorial. Anyway, um, but that's that. That is here on YouTube. And I will link below in the description box if you wanna check that out. And that's sort of where I do my music recommendations every single week, which I used to do that on the weekend chat. But that's there now. Uh, so if you want to know what I'm bopping to and what I'm thinking about the new Taylor Swift album, all of that will be there. But this is not a promo for my other podcast. Um, yeah, so I wanted to hop on and just chat with you guys about things that are going on and how I'm feeling this week. And I thought that I could get my weekend chat back to a place of more just personal stuff and less about music and pop culture and reviews and things for now. That's just what I was thinking for today. But um, I'm here. I am just hanging out. I admit I've got a truly not sponsored, although I wouldn't mind it. It is, you know, midday, summer, Saturday. And I was just like, oh, you know, wouldn't it be so nice to be on a porch somewhere, sipping a Truly. So that's what I'm gonna pretend I'm doing. I'm gonna pretend that I'm sitting on a porch in my magenta glow, hanging out with you guys. It is a summer afternoon, so 
grab a spike seltzer or coffee or whatever it is and you know just hang out with you guys. <laughs> that I feel like I'm, I'm I am talking to myself in my own apartment but I am talking to you as well so I feel like this is just going to get me through quarantine and get me through covid because I am taking it very seriously and I'm not traveling and I have had friends be like come down come visit and I'm just like you guys like I can't like I really like I physically even for me and you guys know I'm a very curious person but I'm a very curious person I what did I do recently that you guys were like what the hell are you doing oh I went rando nodding in the park and you guys were like you're gonna get yourself killed and I was like maybe um <laughs> I'm a very curious person, but like, I don't want to see the subway. I don't want to get on a train. I still have not gotten in a car. I still, I, I really wanted to do a bike ride because during the week in the park, it's really empty. But I just was like, I don't, oh, it's like one touch is all it takes getting Corona. Like I, you know, like I, I'm just too, I don't know. I just can't do it yet. Can't do it. It's too much. So haven't done any of that. And so what I wanted to talk with you guys about today, because next week is going to be wild. And so something that may be part of next week on here, I find out on Monday, which isn't just, what's today, Saturday? So like 48 hours. I find out on Monday morning if I am an Emmy nominee, me. Like, I find out if me, T. Kyle, is an Emmy nominated human person, like whatever, well, that sounded weird. That sounded really like extra. Essentially, I find out if I have an Emmy nomination and this would be my first. We worked really, really, really hard on our submission and projects that I'm, pushed for and even though I've only been at my new job for seven months which even that sounds so long and I can't believe it's been that long it'll be seven months next week um I'm just really proud and even if I don't get nominated the fact that I had the opportunity to submit and my name is on the submission and I wrote the essay that was our submission essay because you have to write an essay and um, I could go more into it, like maybe next week, because I don't want to jinx myself. But like, I'm I'm even getting emotional, like talking about it right now. Like, uh, ew, <laughs> oh my god, ew. Uh, just like the 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 opportunity, and I'm so proud of it. And we worked so hard. And I, oh my gosh, I mean, I can't even tell you the amount of hours we spent um, just on the submission alone and refining it and. I felt like I was in college again. I was like, is this my thesis? So I am so excited to find that out on Monday. And if I get nominated, you guys, I'm I'm probably going to record the live stream, like me watching the live stream, because if it does happen, I will probably lose it. Like I, I can't even imagine like how I will feel having an Emmy nomination under my belt. Like I... Anyway, so that's happening on Monday. Reset, you know. God, I can't believe I just got so teary-eyed just even talking about that. I think, too, it's just because you, like, I work so hard. The, well, I feel like I hate even saying that, but, like, I'm very passionate about what I do. And I put a lot of time into it, and you guys know. And I'm trying to also just, like, loosen up at the same time. So I... Anyway, and it, I have nothing else really to say about it. The one thing I wanted to talk about today with you guys, and let me just like, what is my, I wrote like notes today on my walk. Um, and I wanted to talk with you guys about the whole quarantine thing. And a lot of people have been asking me like, how are you staying sane? How are you doing? How are you feeling? And I wanted to just share some of my thoughts about that because there's sort of two things that are kind of happening at the same time. And I feel like both things are very similar. And that's one, 
my weight loss journey and how I've been feeling about my body, my appearance, my physical appearance, and also how I've been feeling about what I'm doing creatively and creating work and putting out content. And, you know, I rebooted this weekend chat again. <laughs> I rebooted it for like the fourth time. I feel like this has happened so many times where, ooh, mm, the flavor, ooh. Uh, what is this one, mango? Yeah, essentially all of that, like how I've been feeling. And a lot of you guys have been asking me like, well, do you have any advice or whatever? And I really feel like I am, let me just double check this. I'm speaking of like getting back into this, you know, we got to make sure because uh, my autofocus lens is busted the house. So just got to make sure. But um, anyway, so two things. My whole appearance, like weight loss thing, one of the biggest things, like, and I'm still, oh my gosh, I know, I still need to do like a full video about the whole thing. Um, last week, I shared a shirtless picture. I've been sharing shirtless pictures on my Instagram for the first time in my life ever. And really just like learning to embrace my body and what I'm working with and what I'm not working with. Because let me tell you, I, I have absolutely no ass and no muscles, but like, I just, I'm learning to love myself more. And oddly enough, not that anything about this whole quarantine situation is optimistic in any way, shape, or form. And that is a whole other topic. We could go into that whole, I mean, oh, here's how I feel about that. And this is just short and sweet, I promise. Stream of consciousness is back. I still wake up sometimes and I just think if everyone had just stayed home for a month, this would have been gone. Like if you just, if like on a base level, if every person in the United States of America stayed home for four weeks and our government paid everyone, like whatever, whatever number it is, that's a whole, we don't need to get into that because I know that there's like a whole thing about whatever. But like, just said, everyone stay home or we're, we're fining you. Stay home for a month. Stay, everyone just stay home. <laughs> and we'll, all, we'll give you all a check to pay your bills if you can't work. This could have been gone. I mean, look at the other countries. It's just like, <sighs> mind boggling. So I find myself sometimes waking up and feeling this sense of dread and despair and I'm trying to get myself to a point where I'm recognizing that there's so much that's out of my control in life. And this goes for work, people's opinions about me. I mean, even just like the whole Britney fan, free Britney situation, anything in life that you cannot control, accepting that you can't control it, and just knowing that you can control how you respond and how you react to it and what you do with it, I feel like is where I'm kind of finding some peace in my life of like, I can't control what's going on around me, but I can wear a mask. I can stay away from people. I can stay home. I can avoid traveling. I can keep six feet apart. I can just try and find little things in my day that make me happy, and that is waking up and putting on my shoes and power walking through the park, listening to music, listening to Rain On Me, listening to EDM, doing a little strut through the park and looping around and posting my memes on my Instagram story while I'm walking. Like, little things like that I can control and I can make a new routine for myself. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it sounds so stupid and it sounds so silly. And even the other day I was just walking through the park and I was like, despite all the madness that's going on around me, like this is a beautiful calm moment. Like listening to the trees and the birds and there were blue jays and monarch butterflies and I was looking at the flowers and that sounds so like <laughs> Oprah, um, platitude, whatever you want to call it. 
but it goes back in line with a lot of what meditation is where it's about being present in the moment and being present in the environment that you're in and recognizing the things and like there's really good um walking meditations where it basically just says listen to the sounds around you what do you hear feel like pay attention to how the ground feels underneath your feet pay attention to the people like look around you see who's around you what are they talking about what are they wearing it just really I don't know like through meditation which I've been doing a lot for the past year it's really helped me stay present and out of my own head a little bit and just trying to recognize the little things and that has oddly been kind of a nice um reprieve is that the right word break from the chaos of the world like even just today there was like this whole swarm of butterflies and I was walking listening to Taylor Swift and I was like you know what this is kind of nice like for what it is like in this moment right now like this moment right now feels kind of nice and we'll worry about all the other things that we have to worry about later because there's plenty of stuff to worry about right so I don't know if that was like a rant. I don't even know if that made any sense at all whatsoever. But the other thing is doing this free form, free flowing, not planned. I'm not reading off a script, even though I do have this little like notebook, but I just wrote, um, I just wrote out notes from, um, my notes app, which is on my phone but just coming on here and just chatting is so different for me because everything else is so not serious, but like kind of serious. Like work is very high pressure. There's eyes on everything I do. You know, with work, it's like every everyone's looking at everything I'm doing. You got to check, you know, check your T's and dot your I's and double check everything. And it's nice to have things where it's not so serious and so it's been nice to just come on here and do it. And at the same time, I also don't think that people need to be creating. There definitely isn't a pressure. And I feel like so many people think that they have to be doing more in quarantine or they have to be making more. They have to be creating more. You don't at all. Um, It's just what I do to keep myself busy. And it just keeps me occupied and keeps me out of my own head and out of my own thoughts and on the whole subject of the whole body thing I wanted to share with you guys my journey through that and there's sort of because I've even been trying to figure it out too like what is it that made me snap like what caused this renaissance for me personally of like letting go of so much care and insecurity and self-deprecating thoughts that I would have about myself and my body and my physical appearance. Like, you guys know, if you've followed me on here for the longest time, I have always been so self-critical. I have never been proud of my body. I have never shown a shirtless photo until recently and I I mean even like and I love a good photoshop you guys like I love a good photoshop I've definitely photoshopped some of my own portraits and stuff and done things with my hair and because I love photoshopping like it's such an art for me so there's one photo that I did of myself that looks like an album cover where like my whole hair is like I would say 75% fake but it's just this like really slick and it, it I just did it because it was fun but in real life I've always been so self-critical of myself I talked about it on here where I wouldn't sit in front of my camera if I didn't have shine and cover up every single zit and acne mark and I was just so self-critical and I'm learning to let it all go and it honestly came from a post by Ashley Graham. Do you guys know Ashley Graham? She is a 
uh, model and uh, is she an actress? Ooh, I don't know. I just know her from social media and um, from being at Watch What Happens Live. And I think she's so attractive. She's stunning, like gorgeous. And she did this Instagram post a few months ago. And I think this is before she got pregnant. And she showed all of her stretch marks. And she's like, this is my body. And it was so like such a raw post to just be like, this is me unedited. And I was just like, because in my mind, I'm thinking she is a flawless human being. Like I, for some reason, like I'm gay as fuck, but like there are certain women that I just think are stunning. Like Ashley Graham, Naomi Campbell, Gabrielle Union. Who else have I seen that is like stunning? Um, that's like the ones that stand out to me. So for me, in my mind, in my perception, Ashley Graham is like perfect, like flawless. Like she's curvy, she has amazing legs, she has good teeth, like she's stunning her hair, everything. I'm like, she's perfect in my mind, in my view. And she posted this photo and I was like, wow, like I have stretch marks like that too, all over my stomach and my sides. And like a little bit like, I have some a little bit like over here too, like on my underarms. And I was like, I have that too. And it just, I don't know, something about that post just like changed my whole perception on perception, (laughs) I guess. Because in my mind, I always felt like I will never be attractive because I'm scarred like all over my body. Like I have, um, I have a, I have a, a surgery scar on my stomach from when I was a baby. Uh, I almost died as a baby and they had to perform emergency surgery. And so I have a scar on my stomach that is from literally being a little Bobby and having to get sliced open And then I have stretch mark scars from when I gained a ton of weight in high school. I just sort of like blew up and my whole stomach just like, you know, because that's what happens when you, it's, it's why, you know, women who have babies and get pregnant, like that's why they have stretch marks because your skin is, can't keep up with like how fast it's like blowing up. So I have those all over my stomach and as a gay man and you know all we see well it's gotten a lot better but for gay men it's like all you see is ripped white perfect bodies and like muscular whatever it's like such a thing um and I was like okay well I'm never going to be attractive because I don't look like that like even if I were to get abs I would still have scars and it's going to be unattractive right so I believed that for so long and just something changed in me where I was like I have stretch marks all over my body so does so does Ashley Graham and I still think she is fucking stunning stretch marks and all and I just flipped that mentality on myself and was like you know what I have stretch marks too. And maybe someone out there will think that that's, you know, they won't care, but like, I need to stop caring about it. And so I really did did like a self reflection on myself of like, everyone has flaws, flaws. I'm going to say that in air quotes because flaws are subjective. Flaws are your own perception of yourself because a flaw to you might be beautiful to someone else. Everyone has insecurities. Everyone has an insecurity. You listening right now, I'm sure you hear the word insecurity and you're probably thinking to yourself like something on your body that you are insecure about. And we all are just human, right? Like nobody is perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. And I'm just trying to get myself to a place where I'm recognizing that like life is not so serious especially now given like the circumstances I really feel like it's waking me up to this idea of like you only live once life is short you have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring stop caring about the little shit stop caring about your stretch marks stop caring about whether or not you flub on a word 
on your YouTube video or it, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Like it's really just sort of a YOLO moment, <laughs> not to sound like so super cheesy, but like it is. And just embracing what you have, embracing what you're working with, embracing you. And I'm really trying to practice that with myself. Like, this is who I am. This is what I sound like. This is what I look like. This is what my body looks like. And I either roll with it or I spend the rest of my life miserable, self-critiquing myself, self-doubting myself, constantly striving for perfection, which is never achievable. Like, which is it? Which, which, which path do I take there? And for me, the first path of like the carefree, the, the carefree road is, feels so much better. And it's not that I'm coming on here and like, I don't care what people think about me because the people who say that do care a lot about what people think. Like, I feel like before I'd always be like, I don't care what people think, but I really cared what people thought. And now I'm learning to care about things that are important and not care so much about things that are not as important. Like, I care that people trust me I care about my integrity. I care about the opinions of people who I'm close to that I know care about me as, ooh, I don't care that I just burped on camera. Like I care about the, I'm learning to care about the important things and not so much like the little imperfections, the stretch marks, the stumbling over words, the what, what does my hair look like on camera? Am I shiny? Oh, we had to reset. That means I talked for 30 minutes. I was like on a roll. I wasn't even looking at the the timestamp on this thing. I said this was going to be short. Um, I don't know. That's kind of like one of the things that I am trying to do and striving for. And that was the first thing that I wanted to just chat about because you guys know I've kind of, I've been on the journey here, certainly. And um, it just feels better to just sort of loosen up, kick back, not take things so seriously. And um, I don't know, that's, that's that part of it. The other part of it is, let me take a sip. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I just totally lost chain of thought. I was thinking about, oh, I remember. Even with my weight loss journey, taking one day at a time and treating every single day as a clean slate has also been really, really, really helpful for me. Because before, I would always think, like, I mean, even for perfect example, I would have a truly, or like, you know, I would treat myself to something right like I'd be like oh I want to just like treat myself to french fries or I want to treat myself to a truly or my friends would want to go out to a restaurant and I would like oh maybe I'll get like a nice oven roasted pizza like you know what I'm saying and I would always beat myself up and just throw out all of my progress and you guys saw it on here I mean shit like I would make progress and I would make, like one day I would cheat or, you know, I would try and weigh myself every single day and one day I'd be like 0.3 pounds higher and just think that I was a complete failure and just throw out all my progress over like stupid shit like that. And so I'm trying to now, every single day, be like, it is a new day. Today is a new day. Moving forward, keep going, get up, do something, you know, like, how do I explain all of this? And this is good actually that I'm doing this now because I feel like this is all part of my inevitable, like, big weight loss journey video, loosening up. 
loosening up everywhere. <laughs> loosening up with the stuff I create, loosening up with my self-criticism, and just treating every day as a new day has been so helpful. And also, the other thing I wanted to share is, speaking of this like every day is a new day type of mentality, is crafting new routines of things that I can control. And so for me, that is my morning walk. And so every day I wake up and I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, even this morning I felt sore and I was like, ugh, you know, like, I don't know if I can do it. It's so hot out. Oh, my batteries are now charged for the podcast recording later. Um, but like, even this morning I was like, um, I was like, oh, it's so hot. I don't know. And I just, you know, it's like, wake up, put on your sneakers and just start. Just go outside. And I have found that every single time I have done that, I wind up walking for miles and miles and miles. It is that first, that first moment in the morning of like, mm, what was that? Oh, I think it was my, the what remains of my iced coffee in my Dunkin' Donuts cup over there. Um, it just like shifted. And I think too, like actually now that I think about it, that also plays into this and the podcast and working out and my weight loss. It's always like that first, oh, that's my, I gotta get that. Oh, ooh. That is my not sponsored. I busted my iced coffee maker. Two days ago, I dropped, I have this thing, which I want to do a video and I didn't want to do it like super soon because I was like, are people going to think that I'm trying, like I look like a, you know, like an infomercial. I, I want to do a video, which comment below actually, if you're still listening to this, leave a comment below and you could use the emoji, um, the coffee emoji, like the little coffee cup. Leave the coffee cup emoji if you are here still listening to me ramble on about nonsense. So I was gonna do a video where I talk about, because I've literally been doing like nothing except like hanging out by myself and ordering a couple things like online because I'm saving a ton of money not going out. I was thinking about doing a, a video of like my favorite quarantine purchases. And one of them, which I have had now for I definitely was still at Watch What Happens Live because I remember I recommended it to my coworker, but it's been months now, probably a year. It is this thing, which it is the most brilliant invention like ever. This is not sponsored. I don't literally don't even know the name of the brand. Um, I'll have to look at the box when I get it. Um, it is this like thing. And if you have a coffee maker at home that that makes your coffee hot, like an espresso or like a K cup thing or or a French press or like whatever it is, you know how it takes forever to like cool it off, or you have to put it in ice and then all the ice melts and then your coffee tastes watered down. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So this thing is like a cup inside of a cup inside of a cup that you fill with water and it's like this thing. It's like a chunk and you pour the hot coffee into it and it chills it because it's frozen. The whole thing is frozen on the inside. You fill it with water and it chills your iced coffee without watering it down. And I'm like, this is the best $20 I have ever spent probably in my entire life. I am obsessed with it. And yesterday or two days ago, I was making my iced coffee and it had like condensation on the outside of it that was like icy. And so I was holding it and it slipped out of my hand and hit the ground. And because it's like frozen solid, it cracked the plastic. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so upset. You've done me so well for the past year. So I ordered another one. But anyway, if you guys would like to see like a quarantine purchase moment, let me know by leaving a coffee emoji below because there's a couple things that I'm like really loving a lot. Um, and you guys know, I have very much tried to maintain over my course of 10 years on the internet, I have tried to maintain my integrity as not being a sellout, 
and not, you know, plugging products and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm always, I, I try and do my best of always recommending things that I genuinely love, that I genuinely have loved using, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. It's just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like no, no shade to any influencer who's got to do what they have to do to make some money and pay their bills. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying for me, where's my Dunkin' Donuts sponsorship already? Like, speaking of Dunkin' Donuts, if anyone from Dunkin' Donuts is listening to this, one, can you just give me like a $5 gift card for all the promo I've done over the past year, 10 years? And two, you better never get rid of that snackin', sweet, sour snackin', bacon, or whatever the hell it is, because that is my shit. If you ever get rid of that, I'm going to Starbucks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyway, that was a whole tangent. What was I talking about? I was talking about routines and like finding routines. Um, Oh, I know what I was talking about. So the one thing that I've been trying to get over with everything from weight loss to exercise to like every every self-doubt, because I'll even tell you guys right now, like even with Legends Only, the podcast, which I love, I always, there's always a moment right before we go to record where I, I'm i doubting something, where I'm like, mm, is this week's layout good? Did I miss anything? Do I want to talk about this? What do I want to, you know, it's like there's always that moment of like, eh, do I want to go on that walk today? Is it worth it? Do I really want to, you know, what if, what if it's only 15 minutes? Like there's always a self doubt before doing anything before I, you know, every morning when I send my email, like when I'm talking to Jimmy and I'm like giving him recommendations for stuff or like, I'm always like, Oh, is that funny? You know, like maybe I'm not funny. Is that funny? That's funny. Just do it. Send it. Like stop. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Like, so just do it. And that's been the one thing that I'm trying to do in like every aspect of my life is just getting over that first hump. Like even the other day I was like, I just felt the urge to draw. And I was like, well, there's no point to this. No one's going to see it. So why do, why would I do it? And I was like, because I just feel like being creative. So just do it. Like why it doesn't have to be, the next Mona Lisa in the fucking Louvre or whatever it's called. The Louvre, what's that? Is it the Louvre? No. The, yeah. Whatever, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not like, fine art, it was not, or not fine art. Um, art history was not my favorite in college, I'll tell you that. Almost failed actually, and almost kept me from graduating because I hated it so much. But anyway. Holy shit, I'm rambling for too long. I love how I was like, um, this video is going to be really short. So, but I will say distracting myself is kind of making my headache go away a little bit. Um, What else is I going to talk about today? Oh, I was just going to talk about routines and the mind mindset that I'm trying to get into of like letting things go, letting things go that I can't control doing my best, trying to stay positive, and just, that's it. It's like, do the best that you can for the day that you have, like the day that you have, whatever it is. Like, try and maintain a sense of peace, inner peace, and yeah, learn to like love and like appreciate yourself a little bit, you know? Like, sometimes I feel like a narcissist. I'm like, am I a narcissist? because I'm trying to like just take care of myself or trying to just be trying to look at myself the way that I would tr- like trying to treat myself the way I treat my friends, right? Like with my friends, I'm always finding the positive and trying to uplift them, trying to make people laugh, trying to inspire people and you know, that's the other thing I try and do is like if I see people that are doing cool stuff I'm like, hell yeah, that looks amazing. And like little compliments and things like that. Like I try and do my best to do that for other people. 
And so we also all need to do that for ourselves. Like patting yourself on the back is not a bad thing. And every hurdle that you get over, you know, does that make any sense at all? I don't know. Be a friend to yourself the way that you are, that the way that you are a friend to other people is the way that you should be a friend to yourself. And I know that that sounds so cheesy and so corny, but it really has made a difference in my life. And I, for the first time in my life, feel genuinely, and I probably, it feels weird saying this, but like, I feel good about myself. Like, I feel attractive and I feel proud of like what I I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm like or I'm looking in the view camera right now and I'm like that's me you know that's what I sound like that this is what I look like this is what my hair looks like this is what my face looks like this is what my body looks like that's you that is you right like it's like that the parasol in video it's like and that is earth it's hot but like you know what I'm saying is like this is who I am learning to love myself and that it's not selfish, it's not arrogant, it's not narcissistic. Like we all just have to, I don't know. Do I sound like a fucking, like a live, do I, do I sound like a live, laugh, love poster right now? <laughs> and probably, oh my God, someone's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> uh, live, laugh, love, right? But like really though, the other day I, um, these, uh, how do I want to say this? I'm, I'm trying to be cautious about how I say this. Um, a group of very passionate Britney fans found my Instagram and decided to spam my weight loss post that is on my Instagram, which is, let me see, where is it? Also, um, let me, do I have any new emails? No, I don't. Love to see that. A bunch of Britney fans found my weight loss selfie. Can you believe there's a shirtless picture on my Instagram? And you know what? There are scars on here. And I'm not perfect in this video. I don't have abs. I don't have, uh, what are they called? The one... Biceps. Triceps. Um, glutes. Uh, trapezoids. What are the, those other things called? Traps. Um, what, whatever. But you know what? I think, in my opinion, that I look fucking great in this photo. Scars and all. Look at this gigantic ass scar on my stomach. That gigantic ass scar from when I was a kid. I can't change that. That, that is, that's what happened to me. It's part of my story. You know, every scar in life, it's like that, uh, Miley Cyrus song, in the scars, but like, really? Like, that's me. And I look at this photo and it's so crazy and I could get, like, I could probably get emotional, actually, not talking about it. Like, I, I feel like I look great. And I've never said that ever before. You guys know it. You can clock it. I don't think I've ever been, like, at least I, I genuinely have, like, never really felt, like, proud of myself. And I posted this photo. I posted another one. And I was like, you know what? I don't fucking care what other people think. I'm proud of my progress that I did and the work that I put in and all of the therapy and talking to my doctors and like self-reflection and all that shit. Like I'm fucking proud of it. And so anyway, the, the story I was telling <laughs> was that Britney fans found this and they spammed the comment section with the puke emoji, like the little bleh. And I literally was like looking at it because I woke up and I was like, got all the notifications and it was like puke, 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 puke. And I was just like, okay, I hope you have a bucket to puke in because if you feel sick, go throw up. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like I genuinely was like, oh, that makes you sick? I hope, <laughs> hope you got a bag or something to puke in because here's another one. And I was like, mm. posted another one on my Instagram story because I was like, I, I feel like I look good. I like how I look, you know, genuinely. Like genuinely, I'm not about to show my tits on you YouTube right now. I'm not about to take this shirt off and show you whatever. 
<laughs> but, you know, she's being a conservative mommy in this moment. Ooh. But like, yeah. Anyway, why are my lips so dry? I wonder if it's from like the lotion and stuff. Ew. Anyway, mm, the flavor. Anyway, this is way too long. This is me rambling, ranting, raving, but like, even going back to what I said before, I was, before I like sat down, I was like, oh, do I wanna do a weekend chat today? Do people care? Uh, like, and then I was like, shut up, let go, let it go. And then I put the light in front of my camera, pulled the camera out, sat it down, plopped my ass ooh, on my bed, matched the light to my shirt, and I said, let's go, do it, just do it, right? So that is that, and that is all for this weekend chat. That was kind of where my mind is at, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. And as always, thank you so much for your support and the comments below. Let me know, are you guys liking this weekend chat? Uh, do you like it being a stream of consciousness, kind of personal moment? I think I do want to do the quarantine, like favorite quarantine products, because um, I, the other thing that, oh, the reason why it inspired me. So my friend Casey did a Twitter thread on Twitter and she she tweeted and she said, like, send me a purchase, like, reply to this tweet with something that you've bought recently that's under $20, that is your favorite, like, one of your favorite things that you would recommend to someone else. And all these people responded, and then someone actually did a, um, a blog post where they took everyone's replies and they did this, like, huge thing. And I was looking through it, and I was like, Ooh. And so then I replied to her tweet and I sent her the um, the USB candle lighter that I have. And I was like going through the whole thing and I was like, oh my God, like this is all like little gadgets. So I there's like two other things that I bought with my replacement iced coffee thing that are from that list that I'm excited about. And so, I don't know, just, I don't know. I like, I love stuff like that. Like there's nothing better than someone recommending something little that you can get that you just like love so maybe i'll talk about that next week uh i'm rambling this is this wound up being way longer than i thought oh also i need to edit the patreon episode for legends only and i have to record new vo so i have to do that too i just remembered for part three of our patreon exclusive q a so i'm gonna sign off now but thank you guys for watching and let me know what, the, what you think in the comments i do look at all of them and um thank you again for all the support and who knows we'll see what happens on monday maybe there'll be a video where it's titled i'm nominated for an emmy let's manifest it let's put it into the universe let's see it happen we can manifest like an Emmy nomination reaction video. I don't know. Like I'm trying to, I'm just trying to be positive and manifest things. And like, cause you know, the world is, the world is going to shit kind of. So there's not, there is no time to be doubting yourself. There is no time to be thinking negatively of yourself. There is no time to be waiting to do that thing that you've always wanted to try or you've always wanted to do. If there's something you want to learn, go on YouTube, look up a tutorial, do it, do it. There's like, I want to learn how to play the piano. I want to learn how to do Logic Pro. I want to learn how to mix beats. I want to, you know what? I may never be a fucking DJ and become the next Kygo, but you know what? I'll take a tutorial and try. You know what? That is like what we are, that's what I'm going into this next week. And I've been trying to go into every single week doing is like, there is no time to be thinking so negatively of yourself. Like, stop doing it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, that's it. Yeah, it's like, I think of that quote from Selling Sunset where she's like, Christine is like, just please give me one more chance to not be such a fucking bitch. And that is me thinking about myself. Another day, we're not going to be a fucking bitch to ourselves, okay? So 
take that if you want it, run with it. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, wear your mask. If you don't have a mask, stay away from people, avoid crowds, avoid going indoors, uh, please. And I will see you guys next weekend, maybe sooner. Oh, I just whacked my mic. Fingers crossed. And um, have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye. I really like this new setup, too, by the way. I swear this is the last thing I'm going to talk about, but, like, I don't know why I ever was, like, not into this. I'm kind of into it. Like, I'm literally just sitting on my bed in sweatshorts with a colored light lighting up my bare-ass apartment. I have no art. I have no anything because I'm cheap. And I also don't want to, like, ruin the walls. I also did not finish my end card. I didn't finish animating it yet, so I'm going to do that now. So right now, subscribe over here or over here, wherever I decide to put it. And there's other videos that are going to pop up. And if you want to watch last week's video, you can click somewhere on here, right? <laughs> I swear next week, I'll, I got to put a note in. I got to finish my new end card. See ya.